Holy smokes, Neos ET5 and ES7 called EL7 in Europe just got five star Euro end cap test crash results. Holy smokes, but more importantly, it's got little piece seal of approval. So, what's going on with these test crash results? Let's go over it. First up, we got the Neo ET5. Holy smokes, five star. These are the quick glance at the results. Now we're gonna go over them in detail. 96% adult occupant, and boom, look at that. Just a beautiful blue ET5 got rammed right in the front. And we know Neos are very, very safe. Uh, my car built like a tank, man, and built like a tank. But actually, uh, in this year's test, there's a little bit of a difference. Uh, Neo actually lost points for being built like a tank. We'll talk a little bit about that later. Uh, but they still managed to get five star. I mean, look at that side crash. Boom, man, all the airbags deploy. Excellent safety. Neo really spends money uh, where you can't see it. For example, the, the frame, the build quality of the car. Instead of like just like uh, big sofas or, or big screens and that kind of stuff. And look at the airbags deploy, absolutely beautiful. And this all comes to show that Neo's R&D that they're spending billions and billions on is absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. All right, child occupant safety, 85% score. Boom, wow, look at those airbags deploy. The side airbags protect you from the glass. Absolutely beautiful, nice. And of course, very important to wear seatbelts. AB. Ha ha ha, this is this is one of uh, Neo's strongest points and we actually saw in one of my previous videos uh, by AEB nighttime rain test, uh, Neo just performs exceptionally well uh, with AEB and here's a dummy motorcycle. Wow, look at the distance of that, the braking. Safety assist, oh wow, that, that, that's pretty insane to think about. Okay, okay. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Motorcycle coming in, a car coming in. Wow, and it actually avoids it. That's absolutely amazing. That's, of course, the Neo ET5. Let's look at EL7. All right, let's look at the EL7, also known as the ES7. Wow. Pretty good, pretty good scores. Adult occupant, 93%. Boom. Wow, crash in the front. Wow. And I just... just to let you guys know, the EL7, aka ES7, is just built like a tank. It uses 7 series full aluminum frame body. So that thing is very, very tough. It's very tough. It's very tough. And uh, if you guys haven't seen, we, we did an interview with um, five different Neo owners. So those, including me, all right, five Neo owners, including me. And... Uh, one of the new owners, he had 23 Neos. We talked about ES7 and ES6. Is the new ES6 uh, sort of like betraying ES7? And obviously, we came to the conclusion, no, they're fundamentally quite different. The use of materials is quite different. Uh, the e ES7 is just much stronger frame and also stronger motors. In general, if you haven't seen that video, you got to check that out. Look at that, side airbags deployed. Wow. That's that's so crazy to think about. It just comes out of the seat. All right, child occupant safety, 85%. Very good look at that. Wow. Those airbags are massive. And wow, look at that. Protects you against the glass. Nice and soft cushion. Boom. Vulnerable road users. This is actually... Uh, well, Neil performs very good with A, B scores, but they actually lost a little bit of points on this sector because of just how how stiff and tough the uh, the body of the car is. And needless to say, we still got five stars on this, but points were deducted because it was just built like a tank. The car is too stiff. Now, obviously, that's a good thing in my opinion. That's a good thing if you if you own this car and you you. You want the car to be a little bit stiffer and not that soft. Uh, soft would be good for pedestrians outside the car when you get into an accident. But in general, uh, because of the stiffness, that also means if you get hit by a truck or something that's like just massive, uh, like a concrete truck or something like that, 
uh, your car is still going to be able to withstand it and not be crushed into like a little piece of bread. And we saw that in one of the other videos that I posted. This ES6, the first gen ES6 got sandwiched between two trucks. Usually when that happens, the car in the middle just becomes a little chip, crisp little chip. The occupants inside, no hope of survival. But in that case, because of how stiff the car is, uh, the A-frame was able to stay intact and actually push the truck up, push the truck in front of it up and lift that the truck in front of it off the ground. And uh, as a result, the, the Neo uh, was just the Neo order was safe. He was still actually able to open the door normally. And uh, that's just insane. And he filmed the entire situation. And it just proves that uh, if you want, you want that extra stiffness in the car and, and, and the car being hard isn't actually a bad thing, even though Neo lost points on it. I mean, like, <laughs> trucks can't even destroy this thing, man. So it's absolutely safe, and you guys should definitely buy a Neo. Uh, use my invite code, LEGPC7, or if you live in China, scan this QR code. Very, very important that you do so. Once again, build quality, material wise, Neo's got one of the best cars out there that you can possibly buy. And I can guarantee you 95% of all existing NEO owners are going to buy another NEO uh, in the future. That's going to be their next purchase. NEO, pretty much NEO's forever, pretty much. Yeah, 95, 95%, I can guarantee you that. What do you think about these excellent results? I think they're actually fantastic. Is that worth billions and billions of R&D? I think it is. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.